Okay, so in this talk, I'm going to do uh, an example of, of epsilon delta proof for quadratics. What we have on this sheet is basically the generic proof for arbitrary quadratic at an arbitrary point. And now what I want to do is, instead of using this, I'm just going to sort of illustrate how this would work with actual numerical values of A, B, C, and P. So here's what I want to prove. Limit as x approaches to 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 is 25. Okay. So what in my setup, what are A, B, C, and P? Hmm? A is 3. B is 4. C is 5. Mm -hmm. And P is 2. Okay, good. So, what should the strategy be? Uh, like, how would you prove that this is true? You would have to exhibit a winning strategy and then show something, right? So, what's the strategy we will we, we'll exhibit? Hmm? Uh, we will have to show... Like, what's, what's the delta first? Delta is what? Delta is epsilon. The less of one. Minimum and of one and? Epsilon over yeah. Do read it explicitly, or you just want one number? Well, you can tell me. Just, just say it loudly what you're thinking. So three, three. plus two times three times two mm -hmm. times four plus four. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what's that? Two times three twelve sixteen. 19. 19. Okay, good. So now what's our specific claim? The like now with the strategy, what's our claim? I claim the distance between 3x squared plus 4x. So if if uh, 0 is less than x minus what point? Absolute oh delta. No. This is less than delta. What's in here? The Two. point at which you're taking that point, yes. Then what? Fx. Yeah, which is what? 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. Minus plug in 2. I already told you what it should be. Oh, 25. Uh, is less than. So that's all. Okay, so the proof. Well, we start off with this thing, 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 minus 25. And the hope is we'll just keep simplifying this till we get less than epsilon. So what is this? This is 3x squared plus 4x minus hmm? 20. Okay, now if you look at the general proof, in, in some ways the general proof is easier, in some ways it's harder. The general proof is you wrote down this, you, you subtract it, and you factor it. Now we'll try to do a similar factor as here. You could, of course, try to actually exactly mimic the general proof, but let's just try to do it sort of assuming we didn't already see the general proof. Well, the main thing you have to remember is that this thing will always come as one of the factors, x minus 2 will always be one of the factors. Okay, because what we want is we want like x equals 2 should satisfy this, right? So, so that's what that's how you try to split the middle term. So, so what what are the factors there should be x minus 2 times what? 3. Three. 3x plus 8. Oh, plus 10. Great. Okay. Uh, now the 3x plus 10 you want to rewrite. How do you rewrite the 3x plus 10 part? You write it as 3 times x minus 2. Yeah, so this is the part we have, right? We have ax plus b plus b. You wrote as ax minus b plus 2ab plus b. That's what you do. So 3 times 
x minus 2 plus what? 60. Okay, good. Uh, now use the triangle inequality. The triangle inequality. Okay. Now both of these are uh, positive numbers, so this is strictly less than what? Uh, this is, I mean each I suppose it is positive. Each one and each of this one is less than delta. This one is less than delta. So you get delta three delta plus sixteen. Okay, and now what do you do? Delta is less than epsilon over 19. Epsilon over 19. The other one is less than 1. And the inner delta, you use that it's less than 1. Okay, and what does that simplify to? 3 times 1. What does that simplify to? 19 times epsilon over 19. So what does that mean? Epsilon. Okay, great. And so, so you should get epsilon when you do the simplification. And if you didn't, then then you should just check your calculations because that, that's the way we designed this formula. We designed the formula here, uh, which could give you that 19 in the number. We designed it so that after you do all the steps, you just get epsilon. Okay, so it, it was kind of designed with that goal in mind. Okay, uh, now, so you can do this for any specific quadratic, right? The main thing is that Instead of instead of this formal fact algebraic factorization, you will have an actual polynomial, and you have to remember that one of the roots of the quadratic will always be when you get this quadratic here. You try to factorize it. What should you remember? One of the factors will always be x minus p. Okay, that's going to be one of the factors, and then you can figure out the other one by inspection. And then for the other factor, you have to rewrite it uh, as something times x minus p plus something, and then you do this. Uh, a triangle inequality business and then you have the outer thing you you, you re may replace them both by delta and the outer delta you replace by epsilon over something and the inner delta you replace by one and and you are uh, done yeah. okay great uh, yeah oh, I should have said the conclusion right this thing uh, we have a chain of inequality equalities less than equal to and less than and the overall Overall thing is therefore that this thing is strictly less than because there's one strict less than here and the rest are either equal to or less than equal. So overall this gets strictly less than. Okay.